So I've got my shaker full of ice. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my gin. Now, this is actually... I'm not always the biggest fan of craft gins. Okay. Uh, because I think that a lot of them try and be too clever and show too much. Sure. So if I'm making if I'm making a gin uh, martini, I usually use something straightforward. I love beef eater. It's a okay. terrific yeah, gin. Yeah, yeah. It's you know gin that's been made for two hundred and something years. Right. I've actually been to the distillery in London. They're still making it in the same place. But I thought I'd try it with this. So what I'm gonna do okay. is here you know, I don't know if you can see my shaker, but I've got my little measure. Yeah, yeah. So one one ounce at the top, half an ounce at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put in he says, allowing for a little, see what I've got left at the bottom of this bottle. So that's why. <laughs> so we've got one. And what I usually look for, yeah, I'll be about there. One and a half ounces of gin for me. At, at this time of day, it's an afternoon cocktail. All right. I've got, I've got a tiny bit more. I might as well finish this you off. You might as well finish it off. I mean, why leave it in the bottle? Seriously. Well, you know, it's, it's only, it'll only evaporate. <laughs> so then I've got, I've got my gin. Uh-huh. And then what I'm going to do, I've got these. So the original martini, what people often don't know, it had a splash of orange bitters in it. Oh, okay. So if you've got orange bitters, this one is made by a gentleman. He just passed last year, a guy called Gary Reagan. He was from Yorkshire in England, but lived in America for a long time. Okay. So I'm just going to put in three drops of that. You can put in as much as you like. Sure. To be honest, you don't have to put it in. Now, while I'm doing that, I've got my cold glass slightly less cold because we were chatting before but slightly, but, a, but a chilled glass sure. i've got my little ones here i've sure. got my so i've got this one and then what i'm gonna do is traditionally a martini was 50 50 uh, vermouth and gin okay and uh, by definition a martini is gin people can will put vodka in it but that it isn't a martini then okay. it's actually uh, uh, so by definition it's a drink with gin okay so what i'm so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a tiny bit into the bottom of... Oh, I'm, oh you can't see me That's there. That's fine. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to put a that. tiny bit. Okay, just a splash there. And what we're going to do is just roll that around. I want to coat oh. the inside. Now, so what is, what what is doing, that doing for you? So what you're going to do is you're going to get all the flavor of the vermouth, uh -huh. but you don't want too much of it in your drink. Oh. Okay. So there, we've got our wash glass. Now, here's the other key thing. We all know our, our we all know our James Bond sure. shaken or stirred. Sure. Now, again, by definition, a martini should be stirred because here's the science behind it. This is where we need Alton Brown, but here's the <laughs> science: is if you're making a cocktail that is all alcohol, which mm -hmm. this is, so this is vermouth, which is alcohol, bitters, which are alcohol and gin, obviously okay. of different levels of alcohol, mm -hmm. there's nothing to be emulsified. So you don't want to shake it. If I was going to do, say, like a gimlet where I was putting fruit in this or a, a, a fruit core, then I would shake it because the alcohol and sugars in, in, the, in the fruit need emulsifying. This one, all I'm trying to do is to dilute and chill. Okay. I'm going to put it down so I don't spill it. Sure. So you can see me doing it. So it's about 20 turns. 20 turns. And the 20, 20 turns is going to allow about half an ounce to, uh, of water to go into the dilution of your gin and your bitters. Huh. And what I tend to do is I hold the outside. I've got a metal glass here. You've got a glass one. I do. If you've got a, if you've got a glass one, the moment you see the outside of that glass beginning to chill up, uh -huh. That's when you've probably released about enough. Okay. Here, what I do is I'm holding it at the bottom. I've got a little napkin here. But when I hold it, if it gets to the point where it's almost too cold to touch, that's when I've got enough ah. in there. But usually I say to people about 20 turns. 20 turns. Wow. You now, here's the other thing that people may not know. That if you do... That's plenty. I've probably <laughs> done more than 20 there because I was tall. <laughs> Now, you've got uh, – so what people don't know is there uh -huh. is actually a drink with a martini that is shaken, but it's it's has a different name. Okay. It's actually it's actually called a Bradford. That's it. So a, a martini style that's shaken actually has a different name. So now what I tend to do, just because some ice may release, even though you're stirring, 
I double stir. So I have my strainer. Okay. You can see my standard yeah. strainer. Yeah. And then I have my little strainer there. Ah. Getting fancy over there. Although I, I will say I have a little strainer too. It's hiding in the. Uh, and then cabinet. your garnish. Now again, for um, a lot of people, they like olives. I am not yeah. an olive person. So what I tend to do is there. to get my, I get my lemon. So this is a nice aromatic lemon. Uh, sometimes people use a nice Amalfi lemon, a Maya lemon, but you're just going to use your peeler. And we're just going to pull back. And what we're trying to do, if you can see this, Walter, there's no pith. Okay. It's so, just the so very top. You don't want, you don't want the white. It's the very top. All right. Now, what we're going to do is squeeze this over the glass. And again, it's hard for me to do this with one hand. That's but fine. We're going to squeeze this <laughs> so you can see. It. Squeeze it right in. And that. And that allows the lemon oil, because really what you're drinking is a, is a martine is gin in a vermouth wash glass through a slick of oil. Now, sometimes that could be uh, olive oil, olive, the oil from olives, sure. from a brined olives, which is like, like a dirty martini. That's uh -huh. the brine from the olives. Sure. Or it could be from onions, which would be a Gibson. And in this case, it's from a lemon. Then you put your lemon in. So, and there's my martini. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. <laughs>